Hey guys, so I want to make a quick video to update you on everything on what's been going on with me uh, now that I'm in the second trimester of pregnancy. So the first trimester was pretty interesting. It all started with, you know, the bleeding that happened that I thought was a miscarriage, then a subchorionic hematoma and all that stuff. So that's been going on throughout the whole first trimester. And nausea has been pretty crazy throughout the first trimester, especially in the evenings. And my food aversions have been on high, um, even though like everybody loves junk food, but I've always been the type of person to really enjoy healthy food. I love my vegetables, my salads, um, just like I love vegetables, I love everything. So it was really weird to uh, feel nauseous at the thought of cooking and eating some broccoli or beans or a salad, like the idea of romaine lettuce, which I used to love, made me cringe, like just, ugh. And I hated that because I felt so out of control, like not myself. And I was relying a lot on um, cereal and bagels and fruit and just carbs. Basically, that's it, just carbs. I didn't want vegetable, vegetables or lean meats. I wanted just carbs and sugar, sweets and fruit and all that stuff. And so, um, to add to the already like 20 pounds that I gained uh, post wedding and honeymoon, um, now just the bloat of pregnancy plus not going to the gym because of the bleeding. My body's so different. It's just very fluffy. Um, things that were tight with muscle are now just soggy and saggy. And my belly looks, um, to me, six months pregnant because of the bloat and my like my small baby bump that's pushing up my pre-existing excess skin which looked flat and closed before but now with the baby bump and bloat pushing it out I look to me six months pregnant um I look more pregnant than my sister who's like six months pregnant <laughs> so yeah um it's been it's been difficult like there's some days where it um, kind of screws with my head um, after being on a weight loss journey for two and a half years and um, my body changing for the better getting smaller getting leaner either it would stay the same for long periods of time but it would never go backwards it was always just progressing or staying the same and now I look in the mirror or you know feel my belly or whatever and there's a big belly again and my hips and my bum and my thighs have all gotten bigger um, it, it kind of screws with your mind so some days you're feeling very some days I'm feeling very down and then other days I stop myself and say listen Jen at least you didn't get pregnant at 255 pounds when you started got yourself down, you have a little nine month hiatus where all you should be caring about is being healthy for baby and not the way you look. And once baby's here, you can get right back to it and whatever. So I have like both days where some days I'm like embracing completely the way I look and the changes and not caring. And then some days it kind of messes with me where I feel kind of self-conscious and down about it but yeah the main thing is baby of course I don't care but um being kind of like in the public eye because I uh I put my life on YouTube and on Instagram and most people follow me I'd say the majority of people follow me because of my weight loss journey I feel kind of weird about gaining weight and not working out and stuff like that so but I know the majority of you are supportive and so happy for me and you're the ones who are telling me, Jen, relax, this is a little pause, baby's the only thing that matters, don't worry. So for the most part, that's what I feel and think. And then just some days I'm like, eh, I'm chubs, but whatever. 
so I feel so out of breath. I find that I get so out of breath when I'm talking. I think that it's a pregnancy symptom. I don't know if it's just because, oh, it's so humid in this house. It's just like raining like crazy. Um, yeah, I just get so out of breath when I talk. It's crazy. So, yeah, because I have not, like, I have not been to the gym in the last two months. Since my bleeding, um, and every time I would clean the house or do a workout, the I would aggravate it and it would I would bleed. Um, it would scare me and I'd basically, I've basically been mostly on the couch and I would go for like walks with Oliver or go to the mall and walk around the mall. So that's what I've been doing. So I've lost my muscle and things have just been saggy and fluffy. Um, but now that I'm feeling, and, and plus exhaustion and nausea didn't help. Like I didn't want to go to the gym anyways. But now I'm, cra I'm starting to crave this week because this week I've, the nausea start stopped. So I'm starting to crave going to the gym again. And um, especially like for the treadmill or the elliptical and then maybe like 15, 20 minutes of dumb, like 10 pound dumbbells sitting on the bench just to like get my arms. Cause my arms have changed a lot. Like I've, my arms were getting smaller and tighter because the muscle was kind of eating away at that fat. And now that I've lost that muscle, it just is very uh, loose and jiggly again. So, yeah. Got to keep reminding myself that there's a baby in there. Relax. You know, you'll get back to it. It's okay to pause in life for a year. But, um, yeah. So, I wouldn't mind to get back to the gym because I am craving. I'm, I just, I'm dying to crave some vegetables and I'm dying to get you know workouts in four to five times a week so I'm really hoping because this is my first week feeling good um overall I'm hoping that um yeah maybe tomorrow or Monday starting to get that routine down again right when I got pregnant I was like 194 two or no 193 or 195 um when i went to the doctor the other day and i got on their scale i was wearing clothes but it said 200 and that was also a big mind f like seeing that number again i haven't seen the number two like i haven't been in the 200s <coughs> and like two years or a year and a half I don't remember because I I remember um I should look back on my Instagram but yeah I have I've been in Wonderland now for a long time and I've been chilling out here in the high 100s um the lowest weight I got to was 175 or 177 that was for my wedding and yeah I've been slowly creeping up since then so seeing that 200 exactly 200 pound mark was was really tough um and I think it'd be I think it would you know any pregnant woman would be like oh man I'm 200 pounds now or I'm 300 pounds or whenever like whatever weight you start to see like that next digit go up I think it would be hard for any pregnant woman but specifically me being on a weight loss journey and and being on that journey to get away from that and to get lower and yeah, just not having seen 200 in a long time, even though 200 pounds is still far away from 255 pounds, seeing the two, you know, messes with your mind. And, and I was like, whew, whoa, okay. So yeah, it definitely sucks. So it looks like I've gained five pounds since I've been pregnant. So in the first trimester, I've gained five pounds because I've been, you know, giving into cravings and I haven't been working out. So even getting water in has been really, really difficult. I love water. I would drink five liters of water a day. And now just getting in like two liters is, is an effort. But like I said, I think I'm feeling a lot better and I think it's going to continue. Okay, so you guys know my hair is always just like this. I come out of the shower, I brush it, and then I let it air dry. I never blow dry it. I never hot iron it. I'm just too lazy. I don't want to like get ready 50, take 50 years to get ready. I literally just let my hair be. And that like, this is totally fine. It actually, I put this leave-in conditioner in it 
um, yesterday. So it's really like it's a lot softer than it, it normally is. Um, normally it's a lot more frizzy. But yeah, I just leave it like this frizziness where it's not curly. It's not straight. It's just... Sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder because I'm looking at my hair. But yeah, like some pieces will be curly, some pieces will be frizzy, some pieces will be completely straight, and it's just frizz. So, um, yeah, I just, I have no interest in doing my hair and, and you know, sectioning it off and taking a half an hour to iron my hair or blow dry my hair, all that stuff. So I just wanted something simple, not for every day, but like especially if, I, if I'm gonna go out with friends or if I'm gonna go um, to a baptism or a shower, like I've been just wearing my hair as it is and I don't feel put together, right? And so on Vanity Planet, which is the place that I got my scale and my teeth whitening and everything, there's this straightening brush. And it interested me because it's literally just a brush that you brush your hair, but you plug it in and you can put however hot you want it. And yeah, it's like ceramic. So you're, as you're brushing, it's smoothing out or straightening your hair. So this just came in and I wanted to try it to see if it would work and not only see if it would work um, like on blow dried hair to make it smoother, but see if it would work on the hair that I've left to get like completely, like there's curls in here and stuff like that. And I wanted to see what this would do if I wanted like a last minute, quick, put together look or whatever. Okay, so I just um, turned it on by holding down the on button and it goes all the way up to 370 Fahrenheit. Whoa, -y -whoa I don't think I need it that much. I guess the higher you put it, oops, the higher you put it, the, um, I guess the straighter your hair will go or the quicker it'll be, I'm not sure. I feel the heat from it. I don't know if I should still like pin it up, but I want to see like if it'll just work by me, you know, brushing through my hair and if it'll get it somewhat smoother and straighter. Still not hot enough, I don't think, because I can fully touch it with my hand. I love how like um, smooth it feels to brush through it. I guess because it, ow, yeah, it's hot now. I guess because it's ceramic. That feels nice. Oh. It's working. <laughs> cool. Alright. I don't know, should I brush in big chunks or should I do little sections? Who knows? Knowing me, I won't have the patience to like section it off. I'll just literally want to take big chunks like this and brush it through. I have so much hair. Like, the actual strands are so thin, but I have a lot of it. This is so much easier than um, a straightening iron because I feel like a straightening iron uh, tugs at my hair and pulls and I hear like a like breakage. This is like just a brush that's just brushing through so I like it so far. Maybe I should put it higher so that I don't have to go over it so many times because I have it like over a hundred de degrees lower.
hair feels so soft. I mean, if you just look at the difference, this was like a couple of minutes. I like it. Imagine I put it on higher heat and um, sectioned it off a little bit better. Like, that's a lot smoother and straighter in just like two seconds than my natural hair. I like it. Okay, so that was like literally three minutes on this side so three minutes with this half of my hair I could be ready in under 10 minutes I'm good with that so this literally took me six minutes and I'm sure to even go like pin straight if I put it at the highest heat I was at like 250 so I like it. Thumbs up for me trying to look presentable while pregnant and really wanting to be in regs all day. Um, if you guys want to try out the straightening brush for yourself, I'll leave a link and a discount code for 50% off. And let me know if you get it and if you like it and everything. So subscribe if you're not already and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.